Hello friends, welcome to Learn is Planner. In this session, I'm going to discuss about this question that is, alkali metals are obtained by the electrolysis of their molten salts and not by the electrolysis of their aqueous solution. This you must be knowing, but what is the reason? See, alkali metals, they are highly reactive. So they cannot be obtained by the reduction of their oxides. Right? So they are obtained by the electrolysis of salts. For example, if I am taking, if I have to extract sodium, what I can do is the electrolysis of fused NaCl and not aqueous NaCl. Because, say if I will carry on the electrolysis of aqueous NaCl, the ions which will be obtained at cathode and anode will be H plus ions from water, sodium ions from sodium chloride at cathode and the Cl minus ions and OH minus ions at anode. In this case, which is more electropositive? Obviously sodium because as we move down the group in the periodic table, the electropositivity increases. So here, what is happening is, sodium is more electropositive. Now in this case, hydrogen will get discharged first, forming hydrogen gas. Moreover, the standard electrode potential of hydrogen is taken as what? It is taken as zero. Whereas that of sodium, the standard electrode potential of sodium, if I am seeing, what is it? It is Na plus Na is minus 2.71. So which will be discharged first? Hydrogen. If the electrolysis of aqueous solution of sodium chloride is done, then hydrogen will be obtained at cathode and not sodium. Whereas if the electrolysis of fused NaCl is done, what all ions will be obtained at cathode and anode? It will be just Na plus and Cl minus ions. If at all electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride is to be done, it can be done if mercury electrode is taken or mercury cathode is taken or cathode made up of mercury is taken. In this case what happens that sodium immediately forms sodium amalgam. Again, obtaining sodium from this amalgam is a tedious process. So finally, what is left is the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride. Now in this case, what happens? The melting point is very, very high. That is, it is 800 degrees centigrade. At this temperature, whatever sodium is obtained at cathode vaporizes. Or it melts to form the fog or the colloidal solution of sodium is obtained. From that again the extraction of sodium is difficult. So what is done to this NaCl, CaCl2 that is calcium chloride or potassium fluoride is added which lowers the melting point. Here both of them undergo decomposition right? and the heat evolved is used by the sodium chloride. They lower the melting point of sodium chloride to 600 degree centigrade. So in the electrolysis of molten salts like that of if say uh, aluminium. Aluminium is obtained by the electrolysis of fused alumina. Alumina is aluminium oxide. In that case also fluorspar is added that is CaF2 and creolite is added. Why? To lower the melting point of that fused salt. I hope you have understood this question. Thank you for listening.